God damn it, an entire generation pumping gas, waiting tables, slaves with white collars. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. We're the middle children of history, man. No purpose or place. How many of you guys can feel in your soul what he's talking about in that clip? I know I can. It really hits home for me because when I last had a corporate desk job three or four years ago, I felt exactly the same way. I remember I would spend my days in a dusty cubicle running reports on a computer and then sending those reports to my boss who would then look at them and say that, oh, this font isn't pretty enough or this isn't the right color and then send it back because the, the, the report didn't look pretty enough. That's where I was not so long ago and a lot of guys are still stuck in the same situation situation, working for jobs they hate that do not fulfill them to buy stuff they don't need. The reason that that movie was such a runaway success and still is 20 years later is because so many of us feel that. We feel empty. We feel like our role as men in society has gone away. And now we're stuck sitting at a desk, rerunning the same report three times, changing the color a little bit so the boss thinks it's pretty. If you feel that, this video is for you. I'm gonna go over some of the coping mechanisms that men use to try to regain their place in society and show you what works and what doesn't work. It seems like the traditional male role in society no longer exists. And I know there's something similar happening for the ladies that the traditional feminine role is something to be ashamed of. That's what they're told, right? The boatload of propaganda that's being dumped on them from the corporations who want women to be sitting in cubicles pushing papers for their whole lives and the government who want women to be paying taxes. So the traditional female role of taking care of the home and taking care of the family has no place in that. So the uh, propaganda tells them that that's something to be ashamed of. But anyway, I might make a separate video about that, but this video is gonna be all about the situation of the men. Now the Fight Club movie is brilliant about showing what the problem is, how we're stuck in desk jobs or we're stuck waiting tables, how it seems like there's no outlet for our masculine energy, how we have to just sit still and be quiet no matter what we're doing in life. By the way, I could probably make a hundred videos from just this movie, so put in the comments below, tell me what's your favorite scene from Fight Club? And the movie communicates the existential pain of that situation very well, but it doesn't really show us much in the way of a solution. It shows us an example of some solutions that go spectacularly wrong. If you don't know the movie, spoiler alert, a group of men get together and start a club where they're fighting each other for no reason, just to release their masculine aggression. And then it sort of builds up into the point where it becomes a terrorist organization where they're destroying buildings in order to bring society back to the Stone Age. That's the short version, and that shows some of the ways that men cope with the loss or the perceived loss of our place in society. Specifically, two different ways. And the first is to start fighting people in a simulated environment. So to take martial arts classes or to do MMA or to do jujitsu or, you know, all these things are super popular for exactly that reason, because it lets us feel what it's like to be a man again, in some sense. Another way to cope, as in the last part of Fight Club, is to become a criminal and join a criminal gang and start stealing things or destroying things. Obviously not the most productive strategy, but that's what a lot of men do. Another way we cope is to try to compete in the job or in business we try to make the most money or we try to get the highest position in the company. Or maybe instead of trying to compete in the workplace, we compete in sports or we compete in the gym, going to the gym five days a week for two hours at a time, trying to build the biggest possible muscles that we're never gonna use for anything. Or maybe we go even more extreme and reject modernity entirely and go move out to the forest or move out to the farm or something where we can subsist off the work of our own hands. It makes us feel like men and some guys do it. The problem with all of these coping strategies is that they're all fake. You're not really doing anything. If you're fighting somebody in a cage match in an MMA gym, what are you fighting for, right? You're not defending your family, you're not defending your country, you're not fighting to eat, you're fighting for nothing. And I'm not saying that fighting MMA or boxing is a bad thing, I'm just saying that it's not going to provide you any sense of purpose because it's not accomplishing anything. The same is true if you're competing in the workplace or you're competing in the gym, right? You try to make as much money as possible. For what? To buy fancier clothes, to buy a fancier house, so what? Right? 
that's not a purpose. Or you want to have the biggest muscles, or you want to be the best basketball player, or you want to have the corner office. For what? What does that accomplish for you? It might be fun, it might be enjoyable, it might satisfy your ego momentarily, but it will not fill the void in your soul. Or maybe you decide to be a criminal. Well, that's exciting, right? That's a rush. But again, what are you accomplishing? Nothing. You're making the world worse. Or if you run off to the forest and live a primitive lifestyle, well, again, it's fake. Running off into the forest and just living in a subsistence level is living so far below your potential and I guarantee that you are going to feel it. So if all those strategies don't really work, and again, I'm not saying that they're bad. I'm not saying they make bad hobbies that you shouldn't fight or you shouldn't work out or you shouldn't try to make money. I'm just saying that you're not gonna find your purpose there and you're not gonna find any satisfaction in your life in general chasing those strategies. Okay, so what does work? Well, there's one answer and one answer only, and that is to find your God-given purpose in life. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up icon. And if you want more content like this, teaching you how to be free, how to live your freest possible life, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button so you'll be the first to get my new videos when they come out. And also, if you think that somebody else that you know might benefit from this video, then share it with them. Please. It would help your friend, it would help me, and it would make you super popular. Your masculine energy exists for a purpose. You have that for a reason. God gave you that wonderful gift so that you can use it for a particular purpose. It's not some ancient relic of a primitive period long past. It exists for a particular purpose here and now and you have to find out what that is. Now I can't tell you what your purpose is. That's something that only you can answer with the help of the spiritual resources that you have at your disposal. But I can give you two criteria that will let you know when you are on your path to your purpose. And those are one, that it advances humanity and makes the world better. And notice that all the coping strategies fail to meet that criteria, right? If you're beating people up in the MMA gym, that's not making the world better. If you're making yourself more money, well, you might be making the world better. It depends on what you're doing to do that. I mean, a lot of people that are making money are making the world better, but some people make money selling cigarettes or selling cocaine, right? So not everybody that's making money is making the world better. So it's kind of, it's kind of separate. If you do make the world better, a lot of times you will get paid a lot of money to do it. But that's only a side effect. That's the point. That is not your purpose. That is not what you were driving towards. Or if you run away into the forest and just live off of the land, like what good are you doing for the world around you? None, right? You're just squandering your potential and barely making ends meet for yourself. You get the idea. Anyway, so criteria number one is that you are making the world a better place. And criteria number two is that it makes your life a celebration, that you are excited. You are excited to get out of bed in the morning to go do whatever it is that you do. If you are on your purpose, that's how you know. That's how God, that's how the spirits, that's how the universe, whatever you want to call it, that's how they tell you that you are on your purpose, is that every day is wonderful. Every day you're doing what you want to be doing you're always in the flow. That is your soul telling you that you are doing what you are supposed to be doing. Now, if you don't know what your purpose is now, then naturally, in the interim, your purpose is to search for what that purpose is. And maybe I'll make a separate video about that later, but for now, one super easy thing that you can do is to find all of the things in your life that are clearly not serving your purpose and figure out how you can reduce or eliminate them. So for example, if you have a job in an office pushing papers all day for some boss in a cornflower blue tie, probably you can be pretty sure that that is not your purpose. So you should work to eliminate that from your life so you can free up that time to use for your search for your actual purpose. And that's why I talk about money a lot in my videos. I don't believe that money is an end in itself. I don't believe that having the biggest bank account is something that you should live your life for, but I know that money buys freedom and you need freedom to serve your true purpose. So if you want more freedom in your life, make sure you hit the subscribe button because my channel is all about teaching you how to be free. And of course, your job is probably not the only thing that's keeping you from pursuing your true purpose. You have a bunch of things that are taking your time, that are taking your mental energy, that you could throw in the trash and your life would be better. You would have more freedom, you'd have more time to serve your purpose. So figure out what those things are and free up your time. It's a good intermediate step if you haven't found what your actual purpose is and know exactly where to go. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, check out this video all about 
how spirituality is absolutely crucial for your success. This is something that almost nobody talks about, but it's so important. If you want to be successful, then you have to be fulfilled, and feeling fulfilled is something spiritual. So check out that video to learn more.